All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants here with your week 10 film review. Giants are 7-2. and two. Nice win over a bad team in the Texans. Um, definitely some stuff I think they need to clean up, uh, even from a play calling stamp uh, out this morning. But I, I like some of the passing concepts versus a bad Texas defense and an aggressive Texans defense. They just kind of carved it whenever they did throw the ball. Wish they would have thrown it a little more. Um, and then defensively, I mean, they had Davis Mills in hell. I th- we don't have a ton of plays. This is actually not as many plays as I thought, but we'll go through the interceptions, some of the sacks. Uh, just a lot of good stuff from the defense. Defense, I thought, played pretty well. Gave up a lot of garbage time yards on screens and stuff at the end, but... Let's go through it. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. How about that, right? Let's go through it. All right. First play. We are on the defense. This is the first third down of the game. And then every time they got, most times they got in third down, they would line up in these looks where you bring the two safeties on the line of scrimmage. You've got um, three edge players in Kayvon, Jihad, and uh, Oshane Zimenez, and then Dex and Leo. And this just, like, this just gives fits. For the defense, or for the offensive line, for the tight end, for the running back. Because as much as it's like, hey, we have one, how many defenders? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then they have seven blockers. You don't know who's coming, who's going. Like these these looks, very rarely are they just sending everybody in the gaps that they're looking for. So if you set your protection the wrong way, you're going to get free rushers. And that's exactly what happens in this. Even though I don't understand why the Texans set the protection the way they do. So let's go through it. Pinnock come free and off the edge. Leo, Dex, Leo, or Dex and Pinnock get a share of the sack. By the way, I don't care about Landon Collins, Tony Jefferson. I think Pinnock should be the dime uh, safety linebacker. He's faster. He's more athletic. He has, he plays aggressive in the box. I think I liked him when he was the one waiver claim where I was like, this guy could actually stick around for a few years um, from the Jets. So I, I want this guy as the dime linebacker going forward. But. Let's look at what the Texans did. For some reason, the Texans set their slide protection to the right. Now, the tight end is on Zimenez, and Zimenez is covering the tight end and man. For some reason, you would think you have four guys to this side of the formation. You would think that they would slide this left. Like they would put Laramie here, 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 and then the tight end on this, and then you put the back on Pinnock. Like, that's what you think, that's what you figured they would do. But for some reason, they slide to the right, which is, you're leaving this free rusher. If everyone just sends, you're not setting for everybody. You're still leaving a free rusher, because the right tackle and right guard are both blocking here, here. The running back is picking up Leonard Williams, even though, like, why would you have the running back pick up Leonard Williams instead of the guard? Like, why wouldn't you put the guard, set the guard to here and let the running back pick up Belton? There's just a lot of, like, bad football by the Texans. I know this isn't the Texans film review, but bad football is bad football. It's annoying. But, hey, take advantage of it. You get free rushers. You get Pinnock off the edge. Mills spins out of it. Leonard Williams is going to destroy a running back, which because that's what he does. Dexter Lawrence wins versus the center. And we've got a third down sack. Three and out to start the drive. Beautiful. Beautiful. Giants get the ball. They're going to score a touchdown on their first drive. But how would they get down here? All right. Giants line up in a heavy formation. Two tight ends. Two wide receivers. And then Saquon Barkley in the backfield under center. This is a play that the Giants run a ton. And boy, do the Texans run a horrible defense versus it. So they're going to run play action. What is this play call? If you guys watch the film reviews, it is called Yankee. But... Even though it ends up not mattering because the Texans run a run blitz and just get killed in this and their their safety, I think, plays this horribly. Something I like, the adjustment they made is on these, Slayton would, would be something like a little more vertical and then coming like through here. Like he would be, he'd be coming, across, you know, like on these, on these, on this over route, you have this post, which is supposed to take over the safety. Now, the Seahawks linebackers were playing this deep and, like, getting in chase mode. I like that the Giants adjusted this and flattened this out. Like, get flat down the line. Now, part of that could be because of the linebackers playing up. And the we'll see the Texans run a run blitz. I don't know what the safety... Again, not the Texans film review, but I don't know what the safety's doing. 
Like, why is he not trying to slam down on this? I still think it's a completion regardless, even if he does slam down. But, man, we I, I, I don't think I've ever seen Daniel Jones throw to a receiver that open in his life. Ever. Ever. I mean, he is wide open. Get some good yards after the catch for, for Darius. Good stuff. We'll see. Well, how did he get that open? Well, Texans were loading the box, and they run these run blitzes, which we talked a lot about on the O-line report. And we'll do it here. They run these run blitzes. So what is that? It means you have D-linemen jumping gaps and linebackers filling the gaps that they left. So how do they do this? Well, this defensive tackle is jumping into this gap. This defensive tackle is trying to jump into this gap. He's going to fill this gap. Because, you know, all three of these D-linemen are shifting down a gap. He's going to fill this gap. And then this linebacker is playing over. And you just have all this open space. Because they're playing, the, they playing the run heavy. Easy throw. Just some yards after the catch for Darius Slayton. Here's the touchdown to Lawrence Cager. Giants have obviously run that boot a lot on this one because teams have been pretty good at playing the backside of this. Bring Lawrence Cager across the line of scrimmage. He's in coverage by Jalen Petrie, who plays pretty aggressively on this. But that's why Lawrence Cager got playing time. He's a converted wide receiver. He's got the speed to get this angle. Versus Petrie, who's a pretty damn good athlete. We'll see it from this angle. Like, Petrie's a good athlete. Chris Meyer catches that. Daniel Bellinger catches that. I don't know if it's a touchdown. Cager does. By the way, this is not... I, I, I wanted to look this up before the film review. The, they're calling this the salsa. It's not the salsa. It's some uh, dance in Baltimore. So all my Baltimore people, shout out. I know you're going to comment and tell me what the dance is. All right. Next play, what do we have? All right, I, I'm going to piss you guys off a lot on this one. I'm really going to piss you off a lot, but you know what? It's the truth, and I'm tired of hiding from the truth. We're going to run play action boot. We got a three-level read. You see Slayton clearing out. One day on the flat, and that's Sir Kenny Galladay. Now, Kenny Galladay's second drop, inexcusable. But that's not even my big worry with Kenny Galladay is he just doesn't have the burst off the line. He just can't win off the line of scrimmage anymore. I don't know if it's the hip surgery or what, but he's just not the same player he was in Detroit. But what I do, what I will say is I'm going to defend him. Stop saying this is an effort thing. He's found the hole in the zone. You're getting towards the sideline. You don't want to run out of bounds. You found the hole in the zone. DJ pulls the trigger. And the ball is just out in front of him. His arms are extended. His, the ball is out in front of him. This is not a good ball. So, now, I'm not killing DJ because not every ball is going to be perfect. The guy had the best freaking passer rating in the NFL this week. Like, he was awesome. But this ain't on Kenny Galladay. Sorry. It's too far out in front of him. And you're going to say, well, he should dive. Well, we're throwing this ball with, like, 15 yards. Bullet. You're saying, like, let's watch this in real time. He's supposed to dive on, like, I guess. But I think that's a lot of hindsight talking. Because this ball, the ball doesn't miss by much. You know, like all they think that's going to get in his hands. Daniel Jones is a, is a pretty damn accurate quarterback. This is not an effort thing. Stop saying it's an effort thing with Kenny Galladay. He's just not good. And he's got issues with the drops. I don't think you play him going forward. Um, but I also, I'm not a fan of just being like, he's an effort. And then you just say, well... He makes $72 million. He should make that catch. Okay, well, he's just not that player anymore. I'm frustrated with him. It sucks, but that's... Don't don't put... I hate when, I hate when fans do that. Just because we all don't like him right now 
Doesn't mean we put blame on him when it doesn't des- uh, it's not deserved. But he's probably not going to play going forward, and the coaching staff doesn't really like playing him, which is understandable. All right, next, what do we have? Nice. Okay, so the Texans ran run blitzes. Giants ran a run blitz versus this. Now, the the Texans are in 13 personnel. All three tight ends are to the left. i got to assume there's something put on film when they put all three of these tight ends to the left to run a run blitz because they're going to try and get the opposite way, and that's what the Giants do. So what do the Giants do? Dex is going to jump into this gap. It's not even like the most exotic one either. But Dex is the nose tackle, so you would think he's going to play the A gap. Nope, he's going to go to the B gap. Does a good job of it. Mike McFadden, he's going to go to the backside A gap. Leonard and O'Shane are playing these gaps. And Jalen Smith replaces... This center's not able to get off it. Dex blows up this guy. Mondo's doing his job. And allows Jalen Smith to come up. Good job in the run by um, Leo. Even O'Shane does a pretty decent job on this. And Jalen Smith's able to make the play because everyone else makes it around for him. Use your guys to your strength. That's that's the strength of, of Jalen Smith. Now, if they ran this to the left... You know, they run some type of pin and pull where you like you down block here. Like you could get in trouble. But they didn't. So you're happy with the results. Nice tackle for a loss for Jalen Smith. Next play. Third down. Single high safety. You got Pinnock. You got Belton down here in the line. Darnay Holmes splitting these two players. Just conf- given Davis Mills confusing looks, and the Texans just say screw it, we're gonna th- we're gonna try and throw a screen. We're not gonna try and get this ball ten yards down the field. Giants bail into like almost like a cover four, like because you you see Julian Love rotates, Darnay hit Holmes bails. It looks like Fabian Moreau and Adore are playing uh, quarters too, and then you have. O'Shane, Jihad, and then even uh, Kayvon ends up coming back. Wait, I thought Kayvon came. Okay. Um, I saw on a different play of, of they were on the same thing. Kayvon ends up dropping back in this. But you have these guys playing to uh, the two receivers down here. They run a screen. Good tackle by Adore. They got a punt. And then on this side, let's just look at the blitz. Leonard Williams is going to jump into this gap. Like these two are setting for these two. You know, the left guard and left tackle are setting for these two players. Nobody there. Sorry. But guess what? Dex is going to play into this gap. Leonard Williams is going to jump into this gap. Kayvon Thibodeau is going to play outside. Belt and loops. Pinnock hitting this gap. We got two free rushers. We got two free rushers while they double Dex. And Laramie Tunstall, one of the best left tackles in the game, is not blocking anybody. So even if they didn't run a screen pass, this ball's going to get, get, come out hot. Good tackle by Adore Jackson. Another three and out. They got to punt the ball. Good job, defense. Good job, defense. Uh, this is Isaiah Hodgkins. Really good stuff here on this. Giants are running play action. It's kind of a backside fl- uh, flood sale concept where... Galladay's running the deep route. You've got Wandale on this over route. And then you're going to see Hodgkins on this block and release. Good stuff. But here's what here's where I want to come back and talk about Kenny Galladay. This is not the purpose of putting this play on the film breakdown. Just watch him get off the line of scrimmage. I mean, there's just... It's gone. Like that player we saw in Detroit is gone. It's unfortunate, and the Giants are not going to try. They're not going to tailor the offense to Kenny Galladay's strengths. And I think it's just kind of done with Kenny Galladay and the Giants. Maybe they continue to play him. I don't know, but they were very quick to bench him. So that tells me they don't really want to play him. But let's watch Isaiah Hodgkins on this, who I guess could be the new Kenny Galladay replacement. A little block and release. He's a big six foot four wide receiver. 
again, taking Jalen Petrie's aggressive. These Titans or Texans linebackers, they play aggressive. So you suck up these players. Petrie gets sucked up. He's got they got to turn their heads back in the coverage. You know that like you know that robot coverage, robot technique. Roll over back. You see, I like the synchronization from these guys too. And then you put Hodgkins on this block and release. One, two, go. One, two, go. DJ with some pressure. Good throw. Hodgkins has practiced with the team three times. That's like really good timing. I mean, we're we're stepping in. One, two, go. Like that's that's a better play than probably got remembered on on Sunday. Now back on the defense, Damian Pierce his forty four yard run. Dexter Lawrence not on the field. This is a bad job by a couple of people. Um, and also, so they have six blockers. How many how many guys do they have in the box for the Giants? One, two, three, four, five, six. Adore Jackson's kind of in. I don't know why Jackson's in on this because the receivers are split to the left. And. Texans just run counter. GT counter. Guard tackle counter. You see the counter step. Kenyon Green and Larry Tunzel are going to pull. So you get down blocks here on Ellis and Leo. Or not Leo. Jihad Ward. Kayvon's supposed to crash down. I don't know why he plays the outside of this. I'm, I think he's coached to this. To do this. Instead of the spill inside of this. To... Play this outside, but you're kind of doing what they want to do. Like that takes up the block. Like I don't know if I would rather spill and rip through the inside of this. That kind of blows it up a little bit, forces Damian Pierce to bounce it. But it looks like that's what he's coached to do. And then Jalen Smith. We can't let tight ends block us like this. Tunsil's moving to Adore. Nothing Adore could do on this. Jalen Smith. I just feel like tight ends can't block you like this, like J Jalen Smith. I mean, he works you. He works you. And then Dane Belton from center field. Bad angle. And that leads to a 44-yard run. I charted who was playing the center field safety for the Giants because they play like all center field safety. Um, the first 14 snaps, it was literally seven Julian Love, seven Dane Belton, and they were all, they were essentially alternating. After that, they uh, Julian Love was it, it, besides one snap, and I think there was like 30, like 34 snaps Julian Love had had the center field safety. So I don't know if that was an in-game adjustment or what, but again, first 14 snaps, which I think was four series, because I think there were three three and outs, and then another one. Not, not three and out. So through the first four series, they split it. After that, Julian Love was the only single field safety. So I know Belton got an interception, but I actually thought he played pretty rough in this game. Um, struggled in man coverage on Jordan Aikens, which was surprising. But All right, next play. We are back on offense. What are we looking at here? Oh, Texans run a run blitz. Giants run pin and pull. 27-yard run for Saquon Barkley. Good play call versus the right time. Running out of the shotgun, too. So what is the run blitz? Watch Jerry Hughes. Jerry Hughes runs the jump in this gap. Christian Kirksey fills. Well, guess what? We're getting outside the tackles, boys. And you don't really see pin and pull out of the shotgun runs, which I think is why they felt more comfortable running the run blitz versus, even though they ran it versus other things. Then you put Cager in motion to the backside. I mean, this is just a great play call at the right time. I mean, Hodgkins is going to down block on Hughes. The linebacker essentially blocks himself by playing up. And then you got Tyree Phillips and John Feliciano here pulling. Kind of wish... Kind of wish Wanda was able to crack block on number two. But Tyree Phillips, a good job blocking Stingley. Feliciano gets enough of a... A body on two, and Saquon's off to the races. I don't think it actually matters anyways because Feliciano was not keeping up and blocking this. A nice 27-yard run. Right run play versus, uh, at the right time. 
Was it a was it a stack box or a light box? Oh, and it's against a light box. By the way, Saquon uh, over doubled his rushing yards per carry versus light boxes. So just nice. Let that Saquon speed go. Like I mean, their best runs were all outside the tackles. Um, I wish they would have ran less, but it did a little more outside the tackles. All right, what are we doing on here, here, here? Oh, this is that same drive where they lost seven yards. Like first and 10 to 27, they lose seven yards. So they lose five yards at second and 15. And I just hate this draw call. One, we have Matt Breida in. But we motion in Lawrence Cager, who's not a good blocker. Again, he's a converted wide receiver. So we have six blockers versus seven in the box. And that's an aggressive box safety in G Jalen Petrie. We saw that. We're going to see it later where we take advantage of it. I just think this is... The, and I know this is... I hate like people with hindsight. Anytime you run a draw play, it doesn't work. And when it does work, it's the best play call ever. But this is the wrong play call at the wrong time. You've got numbers, man. This is a stack box. You don't even sell it well. Feliciano, as soon as he comes off the ball, is moving upfield. So it allows these these, uh, these linebackers who play aggressive. Again, it's not even a great draw either. Like, I mean, what pass play is Feliciano running upfield and Cager running running through this gap? I just think that's the wrong play call. And then you get third and 15 or 16 or whatever it is. Again, we don't have... We, it's stack box. Unblocked player. And again, it's actually blocked pretty well. Like, this is this is blocked essentially perfectly. This, unless you wanted, you know, Slayton to come and crack on 48... Like the only thing I could think that would have made more sense is if Feliciano takes Petrie and, and, and Slayton's going to crack block on you know on 48, but I only think that was the plan because Petrie's over here. And there's no way Slayton was going to crack block five. So I just really hate that. I really, really do. Next play, what do we have? We're back on defense. We have... So remember that Yankee play call that we ran earlier, uh, you know, the Giants ran earlier? Texans run the same play call. Heavy formation, two receivers under center. Play action. Giants are running cover three. So Adore and the safety carry the post. This deep, deep over. Could be open, but man, this is what happens when you get pressure. Pressure breaks pipes. How does this happen? They're flowing. They're selling play action. Dexter Lawrence wins his block. Jalen Smith crashes down. The tackle is occupied by Mundo. And you get yourself a big sack. Actually, they called that an incomplete pass, I think. Which should have been a sack. So, good. I mean, just a good job by Jalen Smith on that. Next play. Just want to show a good job by Micah McFadden on this. Now, he actually got blown up on this earlier, later in the game. But they're running a fullback. Running that wide zone. Not a good spot when you play this because you have to play. Like, you are responsible for two ways. So, if, like, you go outside, the running back will go inside. You jump inside, back will go outside the fullback. Really, the best way to do it is just blow this motherfucker up. And that's what Michael McFadden does. Now, he gets blown up later in the game. But get those hips those shoulders square, get low, just put your shoulder into him, blow him up, make the tackle, great job by Dexter Lawrence coming from the backside, squeezing this down, get hype Mike McFadden, I like Mike McFadden man, he's a fun player to watch, I don't know how good he's going to end up being, but he's a fun player to watch, 
Giants backed up on their goal line. They're running this uh, these jumbo formations. I actually tracked the jumbo formation. I didn't track it good enough. I just want to show off. Good job here by Nick Gates and Chris Meyer. Giants are running duo, which is you're trying to create as many double teams as possible. So you're going to have Andrew Thomas single blocked out here. They're going to double. They're going to step together. So he's going to use his left foot. Azudu's going to use his right foot. They're going to double. They're going to double. And we're working to this. We're doubling here to here. We're doubling here to here. And we're doubling here to here. And then Slayton, who does a pretty good job on Petrie. And you're staying on these doubles as long as possible. And I just want to show off a good job by Nick Gates and Chris Myrick. Nick Gates steps into it. Like it, like him to use his hands a little more, but gets his shoulder into it. Allows Chris Myrick. Look, Chris Myrick's helmet is on this side. Good job. Hold stout. And then Gates comes off to the linebacker. Gets to his shoulder. And you got to crease for Saquon to get seven yards when you're backed up on your goal line. Double teaming here. Just a good job. And Slayton does a good job on Petrie here. Seven yards. Get yourself uh, you know, from being backed up against the goal line. Next play, what do we have? This is... Oh, this is the two-minute drive. They didn't have any scoring. scoring. Again, just taking advantage of an aggressive Jalen Petrie. This is a good job by... Daniel Jones. Giants actually run all curls. I know that brings back nightmares. So you see everyone curling at the same time. It's okay to run sometimes, but Giants have actually been running it a ton. And again, it's not the worst play call, but it's like when it's like your bread and butter. I hate it. But look, Petrie is an aggressive safety. So what does DJ do? Like, this is this is not the best throw to make. So pump him. Bam. Get him out there. It leaves Tanner Hudson wide open in the middle. Good job. We'll see it from the other angle. Again, know who you're playing. They know Petrie is aggressive. So, pump him. Get him out here. And then you got Tanner Hudson wide up in the middle. Get that two-minute drive rolling. Ended up not scoring. All right, what do we have on this? Pin and pull. So... This is a good adjustment, and this is good offensive line play. So, pin and pull, what are we usually going to do, right? Or sorry, not pin and pull. Um, so, you're going to have a Zudu's down blocking. Usually, you would think like Felician, when Feliciano pulls, they're going to outside the tackles, but they don't do that. So, you have Thomas on this run out block. Good job creating space. Azudu does a great job on this down block. Not a great job, but it just does a good good enough job. And then Feliciano wrapping around, picking this up. Not the best block, but picking it up. And then I talked about this in the all report. This is a great block by Mark Gawinski. I mean, look at him get out and go. And pick up this linebacker. And that leads to a big run. This is just good off this is good offensive line play. And then Saquon having the speed to run through that tackle. Tyree Phillips didn't have a great, do a great job on it. Just good offensive line play. Um, third and nine. Here's the Daniel Jones touchdown to Darius Slayton. This was a better play than got credit for. Actually, people gave a lot of credit for it. So what is this play called? This is a uh, wave concept. We've talked about this a lot on these film reviews. What is the wave? Well, you're running a post. And then you have... Two two defenders crossing right here, on these over on these like dig routes in routes crossers, they're crossing right here, and then you put Darius Slayton here on this whip route. Now here is where they changed up this play call in the way they usually run it. Usually, Isaiah Hodgkins right here, he would run the post, so he's gonna run deep here, and then you would have either Slayton or Juan Dale cross with Tanner Hudson why do you do that well one you want to occupy this corner and safety and that just it, it, it makes the play less like it's not it doesn't take as long to develop because again there's a lot of space here like Hodgins is going to have to come all the way across so more space 
But what does this do? And but and then Wandale on this one, he's gonna run the post. So we see Wandale's running the post. He's the alert. He's really not like I know you could say like well, look at Wandale open. You're really not gonna throw that ball ever. That's that's basically a clear out, which is what it does. And then the Giants run Hodgkins and Tanner Hudson as the conflict, which is where DJ wants to go. Like this is where DJ would like to throw this ball if there's good protection. But then Slayton inside release. Like, you're going to run some type of mesh or something. You know, because that's a play they like on third down a lot, too. Inside release. Texans blitz. They're manned up. Huge play. Needed this. But there's pressure up front. Feliciano does a bad job picking up this stunt. Glowinski gets beat. Just good pocket presence by DJ. And honestly, you know, like just knowing that Slayton's open enough to where you can throw this ball... Good job by Saquon. Just watch him keep his footwork. Slide. I mean, he's getting hit. But he knows. Like, I got Slayton. Good job sliding by himself some time. Slayton bobbles this, by the way. He bobbled his other touchdown, too. Make a guy miss. Veer in. Good job by Tanner Hudson on the block. And go, 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 go. Touchdown, New York Giants. Touchdown, Darius Slayton. He's back. All right, next, what do we have? I did, actually did a breakdown of this on Twitter. Uh, so this is the next drive, the Giants' last touchdown drive of the game. And this is third and seven. They run this play twice in this drive on third and seven. And we're going to show uh, both of it. So... They're going to motion Saquon Barkley in. It shows zone because, look, Saquon's out out wide. You would think if they were going to be manned, well, this would be the man guy. He motions in. The linebacker comes in. It's zone coverage, which is important because they have these linebackers all up in this gap. So you're knowing, like, somebody's popping out. Like, this double uh, A gap mugged up. Somebody's popping up. These two safeties are high. Now, if this was man coverage, you'd be like, oh, well, he's manned up here. Well, we know that they're in some type of too high safety look. And what do the Lovey Smith Texans like to do? Cover two. So you got a good idea what they're running. So you motion Saquon in. And the Giants run a play call that I love. They haven't had a ton of success on it, but it's a play call called Dagger. And we've talked about this a lot on these film reviews. What is Dagger? You have Slayton right here. Slayton is the clear out. He's going deep. He's just trying to clear space. And then the where you want the ball to go to is Isaiah Hodgkins. He's running a dig route. And then usually, like the Kenny Galladay drop, we didn't show it on this. What's up, motorcycle? You would have someone playing this space right here. So if this formation the way it is, you would either have Wandale come across and then you'd bring... Um, this receiver on a drag or you put Wandale on an out route, a whip route, just something occupying this space. But against this cover two coverage, you got zone, you got these linebackers mugged up. They just change this into a little stick route. So this linebacker is bailing out this way. Wandale's going to turn towards the quarterback, make himself open. First down. And then on the back side of this, we're going to run a cover two beater. Smash, which we've talked about on this. Giants haven't ran that a ton recently, but they ran a lot in the beginning of the season when they run a more drop back stuff. Smash, which beats too high. You put Lawrence Cager on this corner. Saquon on this flare out. Just, again, cover two. So you have the cover two safety, the cover two flat defender. You're going to be able to throw it to one of these guys if this is covered up, which we're going to talk about more on the other play because they played a little different. But you also see this linebacker is not playing deep. So if you had protection, if you need to get this ball, that this might get open. So let's see Let's see this play ran again. Third and seven later in the drive. See it for, I don't know why I showed it from this angle. But just Wandale releases. And, and then watch, like this is like a stick route because watch how Wandale turns inside on this. Okay. All right, third and seven later in the drive. Flip the formation. We're running the exact same play. 
Now, watch Juan Dale f- turns outside on this. The exact same play, but they're playing the same defense, but from a different alignment where the linebackers are playing um, back. And what happens on this one? Well, this nickel corner does a good job on this route right here. Like, because he's not, he's not playing from the line of scrimmage where he's having to turn and run. So this is kind of, like, you could throw this, but it's short of the sticks. It's, a, you know, it's going to be a bang, bang play. So it's covered up. Now, the middle linebacker, they're not running Tampa 2. Because if they're running Tampa 2, he would be playing deep here. And what would that do? It would cover this up. But he's playing shallow, this middle of the field. Darius Slayton is clearing out. Lawrence Cager, Kyle here, takes these two deep safeties. And you've got all this space in the middle of the field. Isaiah Hodgkins dig. Big time completion. Big time play. And then again on the back side, the exact exact same play. Lawrence Cager on the corner. So let's just say that. Let's just say that, hey, this corner jumps this on Wandale. You're not going to throw the clear out. And let's say the linebacker. Uh, you know, one of these linebackers gets depth and cuts this off, which has happened to the Giants. Well, then what's going to happen is Daniel Jones is going to turn his head and he's going to read this corner and he's going to throw it to one of these two players. You throw, I think you can throw this ball to Cager, but even if you don't, you have Brita, who's fast as hell with space, one guy to beat, like just options. I love this. Finally hit Dagger. Pretty well. You guys know Dagger is just one of my favorite bread and butter play calls in the in, in football. Whether you're at high school call it, I just think it's I think it's just like I, I love it. And I think there's so many different ways you can run it, and it's just a, a good way to get chunk plays with so many checks built into it. And like we saw there, stuff on the backside. Alright, let's finish this off. This is the touchdown that didn't count. The touchdown that doesn't count. So it was like second and twelve or whatever. Giants are running uh, cover six, which cover six is a mix of cover four and cover two, but it ends up looking like cover three. So what is cover six? Where you have the quarter safeties. This uh, corner is playing deep, but then on this side you kind of got cover two where Odori is playing the flat, Mike McFadden is playing the curl hook, and then. This player is playing the deep half. And again, it ends up looking like cover three because guess what? We've got three guys deep. But it's just like, a, it's this half field cover four, half field cover two. So, we just talked about how smash is what? It beats cover two. That's what the Texans run. You see the flat route right here? Or this or this out route? They end up turning into a return route, but nonetheless it does its job. And then you put Cooks... In this little like corner fade. This occupies Adore. Dane Belton's not able to come get over in time. Good ball placement. Give your guy a chance. Touchdown Texans. There's a penalty gets taken off the board. So the very next play. They don't run the same exact play. But they try and do something similar. And they look like they've got the same look. Again, we got the two high safeties. Now, this could be cover six or it could be cover two man. The reason I think it could be cover six is because of the way Adore plays this. But I think it's cover two man because, look, we got Darnay Holmes playing just man coverage. And we're playing off here, but it, 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 does, it could be man coverage. You got man right here. I know Jalen Smith isn't running towards this, but the ball is like Jalen Smith maybe here. So, but anyways, nonetheless. So, what the Texans run this little block and release flat, and then you run this double move with Philip Dorsett. So, if this was like cover two, well, like like if this if this was the the play call for the Giants to play before. Cool. Like you get the stop. Adore bites on this. Philip Dorsett is fast. But this is just one. Dex ends up forcing this ball out. 
But this is just stupid by Davis Mills. Again, Adore does not fall for this. We've got space here. And look, unlike the last play, look at Dane Belton. He's got eyes. He's got eyes. He's he's already going. He's already cheating over to this. And again, there's more space too. Bad throw. Adore is tracking it. Dane Belton is tracking it. And it's just who gets the interception. Belton gets over and gets it. Even though he had a bad game, he does get his first career interception. And you celebrate game over. And then just watch the decks for Lawrence. Force that ball out quick. By the way, you know, this is kind of similar to what we were just talking about with the Giants play call. Because they run, what do they run on the front side of this? Dagger. Clear out route. Dig route. And then the underneath route. And then you run like a two man, uh, you know, a, a cover two beater on this. Not exactly smash, but kind of get into the same places. But the Giants close it out. We'll see it from the other angle. Dexter Lawrence getting pressure. I mean, good job by Belton. Good job tracking. I'm kind of glad Belton got his hands on that first because he has, Adore doesn't have the greatest of hands. Is Adore, does Adore know that Dane Belton caught it? Because I could see him being pissed off at this second. No, he's excited. He's excited. <laughs> McFadden, the rookies, come over and celebrate. Julian Love, the captain. And the Giants win. They are going 7-2. and two, And we get to play the Lions. I want to throw the... Lions defense sucks. Both pass and run. I think they're 31st and pass, 30 or 31st and run, 32nd and pass. So throw the damn ball next week. I want to break down a lot of passing plays, and I want some chunk plays in the run game. Appreciate you guys. Like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one. Until then, let's go big blue.